In this episode of Motive Garage presented by Spares Box, we send Project No Secrets off to the paint shop. Now, one of the biggest milestones of any car build is getting the paint job done. And I feel like with Project No Secrets, I've just been waiting to get it painted so I can get stuck into putting parts on the car that can stay on the car. And in this episode, that is finally going to happen. Now, before it went to the paint shop, a couple of things needed to happen. We had to work out what color the car is, what paint to use, and who was going to paint it. Now, the color turned out to be really simple. We took a sample of the paint on the car over to Sydney Automotive Paint and Equipment and basically said, tell us what color it is. And you know what they came back with? It's actually a factory color. It's not top secret gold. It looks like it is when the car's on its own, but if you put it next to a top secret GTR, you'll see it's actually a different shade of gold. What color is it, you ask? <laughs> You're gonna love this. It's actually a 2000 model Subaru Legacy Gold Edition. That's right, it is a factory Subaru color. But it looks great, and the heritage of this car means we are sticking with that color. Now the next thing we needed to do is choose what brand of paint we use. And we went for Bazlac, because obviously it's recommended by so many painters here in Australia and our friends at Sydney Automotive Paint and Equipment are the stockest for Bazlac. So we had to get the wet on wet primer, uh, we needed to get the colour and obviously we needed to get the clear kits as well. And the last thing to choose was who was going to paint it. Now we wanted someone good to do it because we want this car to be awesome. We want no excuses for its quality. So we spoke with a long time friend of ours, Brian El Hassan, who you may remember from in the early days of his Mr. CRX, Mr. WRX. He has built countless show winning cars uh, and is a gun on the paint gun. So uh, MC Customs, Brian Hassan, he got the tick to paint the car. And in fact, he's gonna be opening up his own paint shop very shortly and expect some very big things from that. So it's time to phone Danny from Pro Tilt, get this thing on the tilt tray, get it to the paint shop. Let's go. Well, I'm over the moon with the quality of the paint job that Brian put down on our R33 Skyline GTR. Uh, I love the colour. I know a lot of you said we should probably change it, but man, this car has so much history in Australia in this colour. 
And that's what we're paying homage to, is not the car's history in Japan, it's history here in Australia. So the colour had to stay, and I think it looks absolutely mint. So, what's next? I can tell you this, now I'm super motivated to get into this build and start putting things out of the car that can stay there. So, let's take a look at the first things that are gonna go back on the car. The first thing that's gonna go back in the car is basically everything in the rear. Why is that? Well, our subframe has already been powder coated. Underneath the back half of the car has already been fully refurbished, so we can put back in the diff. The rear brakes off the R35 GTR. Uh, we can put in the rear sway bar, the four-wheel drive pumps, the Atessa reservoir. We can put in the fuel tank and all of these brackets and everything and the braces for underneath. And Tommy F. Yeah is going to love this. Make sure you subscribe. See you in the next episode of Project No Secrets.